chipboard which I then covered with one layer um, on the whole thing one layer of um, used dryer sheets um, you guys are gonna want to save all your dryer sheets so that you can create awesome awesome textures and backgrounds like the way I did here with this project so um, my raw chipboard I added one layer of dryer sheets um, and I'm using my all-time favorite um, gloss gel medium and I use that to adhere the uh, dryer sheets to the chipboard and on top of that I sprinkled um, my own mixture of glitter all over the surface which you can see there's some spots that just kind of glitter out a little bit more than others. And I kept the background very basic, very simple because I wanted the focus to be mostly on this beautiful um, girl that we have here. Now, um, a lot of people have asked me where do I get my images and a lot of the times I just kind of draw uh, sketch these girls out and adhere them onto my canvas and once they're adhered using this wonderful wonderful um, medium um, it allows me to then come back with markers and pens and whatnot um, one thing that I do like using are these um, washable dry erase markers and the reason why I like using them is because once my layer of gloss gel medium is on the surface, it allows me to smudge it in and smear it out so that it looks a little bit more um, natural. So back to the background. Um, once I added the dryer sheets and a layer of glitter throughout the whole surface, I then come in with my Lindy Stamp Gang color spray starting with the light tones and for this particular project I use tones of uh, turquoise blues and purples and since the glitter was already adhered to my surface the glitter also got a nice dose of color and with Lindy Stamp Gang color sprays they do have a lot of sparkle they do have wonderful mica powders in there and the fabric sheets just kind of captured all of it and as you can see I didn't put my uh, dryer sheets on all nicely and neat I let them just kind of fall the way they wanted and kind of pounced on top of them with the gloss gel medium and that gave me these wonderful um, mountains and valleys here that you guys can see and all the mica powders you know attach themselves to the dryer sheets nicely giving them this wonderful wonderful sparkle I don't think the camera is truly captioning just how sparkly this uh, project is 
but it's it's fabulous and then once you heat set everything after I spray one or two tones of color sprays I heat set them so that all my color sprays don't kind of blend into each other creating a big puddle and they stay nice and you can see here the different shades of light um, turquoise and purple here um, so once that is dry I then adhere my face and I start arranging all my flowers or laces whatever I'm using for that particular project I started hearing them with um, E6000 and I find that E6000 is really really fabulous for stuff heavy stuff like this because you don't have to worry about anything falling off so that's a, um, my one of my recommendations for a project like this because once the E6000 is dry I'm gonna come back and spray my entire surface some more with some more color sprays and I really want everything to attach itself nicely um, and I don't have to worry about things you know coming loose or whatnot as they would with hot glue so that is basically the process and then just this pearl um, her pearled neck here was just uh, I randomly applied um, some modeling paste and before the modeling paste got dry I just kind of threw on all the the pearls that would possibly attach themselves to the modeling paste and the modeling paste serves as an adhesive once my entire surface is the way I like it and I've come with my final um, color sprays on this which would be my lighter shades that's why you see lighter shades of uh, turquoise here and lighter sh uh, dark I'm sorry darker shades of purple and teal in some areas that's because those were my last um, my last sprayed areas and I also used um, a silver a silver um, color spray and her name is stargazer and it's why you see a couple of stars um, on her head and all over the the background so I named her stargazer because it reminded me of um, the way the universe kind of looks out there with all the beautiful shades of of color that just kind of pop out of the darkness and that's kind of what inspired me for this particular um, project so once I'm happy with the way everything looks happy with the way um, my background looks and everything I kind kind of come back with this wonderful medium here and I pounce it I don't brush it on I pounce it on with my brush so that I don't blend or mix up any um, any of the color and after I, I do every little section I wipe my brush off so that I don't contaminate um, any other areas with that color and as you can see the glitter picks up on the color sprays very nicely very very nicely kind of looks like the, that's the color of the glitter but it was all just different shade um, different sizes of white glitter uh, clear glitter and a couple of um, tablespoons of um, Tim Holtz uh, sticky embossing powder which allows the glitter to kind of attach itself to the surface once it's heat set so I don't have to worry about any of this glitter coming off and uh, spreading all over the place here as you can see once you heat set some of those dryers they do uh, tend to shrink a little bit and I don't mind that I kind of like that extra extra um, texture on there and another positive thing about using the dryer sheets is that as you're heat setting it your whole surface smells really good it smells like your dryer sheet so talk about smell good art huh well there you have it guys that's kind of the process that I go to uh, to create some of my mixed media um, canvases and I hope you guys have enjoyed this one because I had tons of fun creating her so till next time stay posted and I'll be back with some more crafty projects talk to you guys later